Hello and welcome back and that is right today we're doing another quick form comparison when we're looking at this the Acer Store Locker Store 2 Gen 2 and comparing it against this the Terramaster F2423 I'm going to give you five reasons why you might want to opt for the uh, Acer Store and five reasons why you might want to opt for the Terramaster I'm going to do it as quickly as possible so straight away first things first is worth talking about the difference between price versus value between these two it's an incredibly pertinent point because I'll tell you right now when it comes to hardware there's very 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 few better value uh, two bay NAS devices than the Locker Store Gen 2. The sheer level of hardware that it includes the Intel CPU, DDR4 4 gig memory, 2.5 GBE, uh, M2 NVMe slots, two bays of SATA storage going up to a potential um, compatibility for 22 TB drives. It is really, really hard to understate just what great value this is. That gross kind of specifications are available in the market right now just aren't as good as that in terms of everything you are getting. But it's worth highlighting that in case of the Terramaster, although it might not win in terms of value for actually what you're getting for your money once you factor in all the different components and the hardware and the software, it as has to be it has to be said that the what the actual price tag on the Terramaster is almost invariably lower everywhere. Whether you are looking at it in Prime Day, Black Friday, etc., or just generally the price day to day, you will always find that in terms of these two, for this Intel powered. 4 gig DDR4 memory 2.5 GBE system with M2 NVMe bays inside, but still lacking a few of the hardware features of the Acer store, still arrives with the lower price tag. So again, depending on where you stand, whether you go for value versus price tag, these two will give you different results overall. But let's dip into that value there, because one of those things I talked about there was M2 NVMe bays, and I'll tell you right now, this has something in spades that's worth talking about, and that is that this system has four M2 NVMe, uh, M2 NVMe bays built in. Those M2 NVMe bays can be used for caching or raw storage pools. And therefore, with this system, you end up with the ability to not only have a two bay NAS, but potentially a six bay NAS with those M2 NVMe bays there, which you can partition into one area of caching and one area of storage, or all of them as a raw storage in an M2 NVMe RAID 5 storage pool, something that only they provide currently on the default hardware that it arrives with. What does Terramaster bring to the pie that is unique to their platform? Well, I tell you one of the things they bring, and that is a fluid RAID system. Unlike a lot of other brands that have got a fixed RAID system of RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, etc., where all the drives have to be exactly the same capacity. In the case of the Terramaster, you can use a fluid RAID system that allows you to mix and match drives. And only them, and Synology, and arguably Drobo as well, are brands that provide that feature. Now, a number of you are going to argue you don't really need that on a two bay system because there's only two bays of storage you're not really going to see the benefits but once you factor in expansion devices once you factor in uh, the larger arrangement of bays that can be added to it then a fluid rate system can be helpful as well as those of you that want to run a two bay system want to introduce larger drives but want to know that that's not going to destabilize the raid in a way that a traditional raid is just not going to be happy with overall but going to another feature that the acer store provides that terra master doesn't is to do with this system having a KVM setup there. The KVM setup on this allows you to have keyboard video mouse with the HDMI 2.0B output on this. So again, they're the only brand at the moment that are producing a consumer grade 2.0B HDMI 4K with enhanced HDR SDR bandwidth sharing. It allows you to have not only ADM, the NAS software being accessed via the web browser, via mobile applications, via lots of other services, both over the network and the internet. There is also a parallel running all the same time. HDMI output that can be utilized for multimedia, for virtual machines, for surveillance, for a multitude of first and third party applications. All of that running at the same time as in two different doorways. It's something that although the Terramaster has an HDMI output, the HDMI output on this is command line only. It doesn't allow you to use that external output as its own graphical user interface. It's only command line with a KVM and really the utility on there isn't fantastic. But when it does, have, when you talk about utility and moreover deployment of these two devices, I think one thing that a lot of you more modest, definitely more noise aware users will need to know is that this definitely makes more noise when in operation. It's not huge, and the minute you start looking at bigger drives, particularly anything on 8 or 10 TB above, which means those drives are making a bit of a racket. Anyway, I will highlight that in terms of overall operation, the Terramaster is definitely the quieter of the two. It's not the quietest NAS in the market, but even by touching it and feeling it with the system being metal on the base and the surrounding area being metal with the bit on the front and the back, 
For some reason, when we had these in operation, the um, Acer Stalk was just a great deal more noticeable. It's also the heavier of the two. By the feel of it, there's plenty of ventilation there all the way around. But it just seemed, when it was in operation, that maybe it's the construction of the chassis and the metal on metal, because there's a lot more metal on this chassis than there is on the Terramaster. The result is that during operation, the ambient noise level and the kind of amplification of click some some words of hard drives inside was just that pinch higher on the Acer store there. That said, the Acer store does kind of, you know, have other little tricks up its sleeves that we're talking about. There's just no avoiding that Acer store's ADM platform is the more evolved of the two. Both of these systems support uh, EXT4 or BTRFS as the file system of choice. And both of them arrive with a myriad of first and third party app support, but there's just more applications and services available on that Acer store platform there. The user interface a little bit more colorful, a little bit more intuitive as well. And although the TerraMaster one has improved exponentially in TOS 5, that if you put them side by side, you will just find that in terms of the software you're getting, because remember, that's part of the money you're paying. The evolution of ADM is just that little bit better overall, and it just feels a little bit more responsive, and you will just generally find more applications and services that support you. Not all of them, because there are things on the uh, TerraMaster platform that aren't available on Acer Store, but overall, point for point, it just seems that there's just more apps and services and the general user interface improvements in ADM than there is on TOS. But what does TOS actually have that Acer Store doesn't I refer to there? Well, nice and simple, um, two, two things really. One, alongside that fluid RAID system we talked about there, it's worth highlighting that there is an isolation mode that only TerraMaster offer. Now, isolation mode, although lots of other NAS brands, not just Acer Store, provide similar to this and the ability to deactivate individual file services, deactivate different things, manually one by one or just pulling the LAN cable out which again will make the system kind of freak out a little bit with the TerraMaster there is an option built in uh, the click of a single button it will deactivate all remote level access services but enable and leave the LAN services but it will also disable third-party applications disable uh, web accessible .php stuff it will disable active external connections all at the click of a button single button and you can even configure it to bind to specific IPs as well, thereby eliminating a lot of network level access as well. Now that setting can't be undone without rebooting the system. So when if you're concerned about someone accessing your storage, you know, and they shouldn't be, or an app accessing it and they shouldn't be, isolation mode will kill off all of those slightly suspicious services at the touch of a button. Again, you can do this in a little bit more of a manual fashion on the Acer Store platform, unless ADM have rolled out an update that I'm unaware of, but overall, it's just a great feature that's rolled into there that's only available. And the same thing goes, when it comes to these two and how they handle photos, it's worth highlighting that the Acer Store has an AI-powered photo recognition tool built in that uh, Acer Store does currently not have. They have for, uh, applications for your multimedia services dedicated to music, dedicated to video, dedicated to photos, but they don't, at the time of recording, have an AI-powered photo recognition tool that recognizes faces, people, and things. But Terra Photos has that. What does the Acer Store platform have? Well, nice and simple, it has more client apps. When it comes to the client applications that you download for Windows, for Mac, for Android, for iOS, and more, TerraMaster only have about or, you know, outside of the normal kind of search network tools, client and more tailored level access tools are just not available on the TerraMaster platform. Whereas on the Acer Store platform, there are loads of apps for Android and iOS, loads of apps available for desktop clients. And all of these added together allow you to have localized access as a great deal more tailored to the NAS by the network and the internet, and therefore allow you to create a great deal more integrated client hardware setup. And I think a lot of users that want to interact with their NAS might not want to go via the web browser and a big GUI because it seems a bit clunky when they just want to get and stream music via a music playing app. Look at photos in an app designed for photos, and that's something the Acer Store platform brings, and it's something the TerraMaster platform is still working towards due to the investment that these brands put into their hardware and software. And talking about investment and talking about the brands themselves, it's worth highlighting that although both of these systems are running the same CPU, and they both arrive with four gig of memory, TerraMaster state that their system, if you use their memory modules, can hit 32 gig. Now, I find that 
always i put a question mark every time i say that here on the channel because the cpu inside these devices has an official supported memory across two slots of 16 gig max but terramaster do maintain that the memory inside there can be utilized at 32 gig it's visible and usable it's not just on screen but not accessible by the overall system and some people, not myself, have tested it and said that there is elements of truth to that because you are able to utilize it. So whether that is um, for going of the two lanes and changing some of the memory limits there, going down to 24 or 2100, or simply that the CPU has a recommended maximum of 16, but it can actually use 32, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, between the two of them, it comes down to a case of hardware versus software. And ultimately, as you, the end user, if you're going to be using the NAS as a targeted storage area, but using your client apps, or you want the application to arrive with its own software services as part of the larger brand, remember, it is value versus price between these two. They've both got their virtues and they've both got very distinctive applications and services to their individual platforms. But I think there are different kinds of users that will enjoy these systems. But this has been at a little over 11 minutes choosing between the F243 from Terramaster and the Luxstore 2 Gen 2 from Acer Store. If you want to learn more, there are links to the review for both of these devices, both the video and the written review linked below. If you want to learn more or need some assistance for your next NAS purchase and you don't quite know where to go too much wood for the trees, use the free advice section over on NAS Compares or the free community forum there made by me, Eddie and other members of the NAS community to help you out. And lastly, if you found this video helpful and if these, you know, you while going to shop at Amazon anyway, use the links in the description to take you there. It will cost you nothing extra and anything you buy after visiting that link results in a kickback coming to us here at NAS Compares as Amazon Associates and we get a little bit of bunts for that and it goes directly back into doing what we do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.